So here is a perfect example of a domestic dog footprint. I would say it's around five or so centimeters in length, I would say. So if you have a look, you create an X, right? An X in the middle, the center being here, go that way or that way. If the X is long, like narrow, then it is not a big cat footprint or any cat species. Normally they're a perfect oval shape, but as you can see, it's very long and very narrow. So the X is very narrow as well. As you can see here, the two toes are perfectly in front of the two toes here. Normally, they would create a very nice rainbow-like shape, but you can see again, it's very narrow, which is another dog trait to have. And down here, there's one, two lobes. Two lobes is like the bottom of their foot. So cats have three, where it'll be like one, two, and three, but there's only one and two, and you can't see. You can see there that there is no lobe showing here. So two there, very narrow X, claw marks showing, which um, always show in dogs because they can't retract their claws while big cats can. The only time that cats or big cats show their claws is when they're running or hunting or if they're like sneaking up on prey ready to pounce. But if they're normally walking, cats do not have their claws out at all while domestic dogs always have their claws out unless if the owner cuts their claws off. But this is a perfect example of which is not a big cat but is a domestic dog. Now I'm going to show you a perfect example of what I believe to be a big cat footprint. So the last time I made that video of me showing a domestic dog footprint, that was April last year. So it's been almost a year since I last recorded a video about this. And I have been looking ever since and I finally found a perfect example of a big cat footprint. So if you have a look at the size of it compared to my hand, it ends around there. It's almost like the same size as my hand. This is huge. This is a massive um, hind leg footprint of what I believe to be like a mountain lion or some type of leopard something like that but let me explain why if you have a look you can see there are no claw marks showing but another thing that I completely forgot to show was that the dog footprint do not have tear shaped footprint um, on their toes their toes are like teardrop shaped if you have a look here you can see it's like teardrop shaped which is a perfect example. Another example, you know when I told you about the method of the X, it's perfectly round in shape, perfectly circular, and the X is perfect as well. It is not narrow, it's perfectly the same size on both sides, as you can see. It's very, very circular and very wide as well. And the foot and the toes here, which ends around there, it's not perfectly behind the toes at the front. It's like, it's like halfway up like there, it's like halfway up where the toe um, ends at the front. Like the two toes at the front are not perfectly in front of the two toes at the back. And also the lobes, as you can see there's, like I told you before about the one and two, you can sort of see there, there's the imprintation of the third lobe in the middle, which is what dogs cannot have. So this is a perfect example of a big, what I believe to be a big cat footprint. And I'm gonna estimate that's around like 7.5 centimeters, which is around the exact size for like a mountain lion. Like it's perfectly um, sized for it. So yeah, um, that is the main differences that you gotta look out for when it comes to big cat footprints and domestic dog footprints. It took me almost a year to make this video. So you can tell I'm pretty dedicated to this type of stuff. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.